What's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Stars, where today we are talking about Anna, which is a 2019 action thriller film that stars Russian supermodel Sasha Luss as this woman who's kind of caught in the crossfires between the CIA and the KGB. They both want her to work with them because she has a particular set of skills that makes her a nightmare for people like them. And I mean, yes, it's the CIA and the KGB. They're both offering jobs and it would be great to work with them. But if she says no, then bad things happen or they could happen. And that's a big theme of this film is that she doesn't feel like she's in control of her own life, that she feels manipulated, that she feels controlled, and that she's enslaved by everybody that she's ever run into in her life. She wants to feel free. She wants to feel like she's in control of her own life, and that's basically the theme of the entire movie, and I can get behind that. The main thing that got me interested to watch this movie was the action, because the trailers really showcased a lot of really heavy action-oriented scenes, and I'm a pretty big fan of action in general, so I wanted to see it for that element, and I can say the action isn't as heavy as I thought it would be. There wasn't as much action in this movie as the trailer seemed to suggest that the movie has. However, it is two genres. It's action and thriller, and while it doesn't have as much action as I thought it would have, it does have a lot of thrills. That being said, the action that it does have is heavy. It is great. It is very, very well done. If I could tell you exactly how the action is done in this movie, it reminded me of Born Identity, uh, Alias, and a little bit of Black Widow, maybe just a pinch of John Wick. And I guess that makes sense because this movie was made by the creator of Lucy, and the action in Lucy is very reminiscent of the action in this movie in particular. But if you want to see a movie for the action alone, I would say pick Lucy over this. If you want to see the thriller aspect, I would probably say pick this over Lucy. Because the thriller aspect of Anna works incredibly well because of how this movie is put together, how it is edited together. This film is completely out of sequence. It's basically put into chapters. At the end of one chapter, something big happens, and then it rewinds a couple months and explains what really happened. And this happens again and again and again in the movie, and it reminded me of Quentin Tarantino because I recently reviewed Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, and Jackie Brown, and the editing style is somewhat similar, I would say, to Pulp Fiction and Jackie Brown and how it's kind of out of sequence, but it tells a complete story in an almost poetic sense of self or something like that. I like the fact that it was out of sequence, and I like the fact that it did remind me of Quentin Tarantino because he's very good with his movies when it comes down to editing them in such a way that's different and unconventional. And I can say the same thing about Anna. However, it's not a completely well-rounded movie like a lot of Quentin Tarantino's movies are. It's just edited together in a way that I thought was actually pretty smart. And I can't say the acting in this movie is incredibly impressive. I mean, it's hard to say that because we're talking about a Russian supermodel in the lead playing a Russian supermodel in the film by day, then spy by night. But hey, play to your strengths, right? Because she was believable as a Russian supermodel because she is one in real life. And she's even believable as a spy because she does do a very good job in those action scenes, which actually impressed me. Plus, I really like the contrast between supermodel and spy. I really dug a lot of what this movie was going for, especially when it came down to the action, especially when it came down to how it was edited, when it comes down to the thrills. There was a couple of things in this movie that I just, I wasn't a huge fan of. One of the things was a lot of the accents in this movie were incredibly strong. So sometimes I had to kind of rewind and watch again to really understand what they were saying because usually when you have movies that specifically are American made, you have people with accents, but they're not terribly hard to understand accents. This movie is a little bit differently. The accents were stronger and a little bit harder to understand, which does affect my ability to pay attention to what's going on. Another problem that this movie has is production design. I'm not entirely sure when this movie takes place. I really have no idea because there are things in this movie that point to the idea that it took place a few years back. And then there are things that feel kind of modern at the same time. Maybe it's because it's taking kind of place in Russia and Paris and things like that. But I honestly wasn't entirely sure of the time period in which this took place, which kind of bothered me. I personally like to know the setting and the time era it takes place in. I like to know all these things so I can really get pulled into the world the film is trying to get me pulled into. It's only kind of a minor complaint that I have personally. I just wish it was done a little bit differently. But I do like the character that Sasha... 
Asha. Sasha is playing because even though she's a spy with a particular set of skills, she is a very likable person in general. She has an emotional connection that I can connect with as an audience member, and I can see her as a real person. Even though, yes, lots of action, lots of spy stuff going on, she just does a really good job luring me into this world. Even with the problems with production design, even with the problems of strong accents, I liked her character. And basically, her character alone, Killian Murphy does a great job, Luke Evans does a pretty good job as well. But it's really all about Sasha Luss, and she does a pretty good job, and that actually impressed me, given the fact that she is a supermodel. There are plenty of other areas in this movie that could have used some improving as well, but nothing that really stood out to me as bad. I don't know, guys. I'm going to give this movie 79%. 79 out of 100 possible stars. Guys, if you saw Anna, tell me what you thought of it in the comments down below. And as for YouTube, make sure that you hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell to be notified when I come out with my next review. And until then, peace out. Mm -hmm.